Have you heard that there's a waiting period associated with SSDI benefits? My name is Caitlin Wildoner, and I'm an attorney who helps disabled clients obtain their disability benefits as quickly as possible so they can focus on getting better. Today, we're going to talk about the waiting period for Social Security Disability Insurance, or SSDI, benefits. SSDI is a federal program administered by the Social Security Administration that provides financial assistance to individuals who are disabled and unable to work. Eligibility for SSDI is based on an individual's work history and earnings. To qualify, applicants must have earned enough work credits through their employment covered by Social Security. SSDI benefits are calculated based on the individual's average lifetime earnings covered by Social Security. The Social Security Administration uses a formula to determine the monthly benefit amount. In addition to the work history requirements, of course, an individual must be disabled and unable to work to qualify for SSDI. Once approved for SSDI, beneficiaries may also become eligible for Medicare after a separate waiting period. The waiting period for SSDI benefits refers to the five month period that must pass after the onset of the individual's disability before they can begin to receive SSDI payments. The Social Security Administration considers the disability onset date to be the date when the individual becomes unable to engage in substantial gainful activity due to his or her disability. During the five-month waiting period, the individual is not eligible to receive SSDI benefits even if they meet all other eligibility criteria. The waiting period is designed to ensure that SSDI benefits are provided only to those with long-term disabilities as SSDI is not intended to cover short-term or temporary disability. That five-month waiting period begins the first full month after the disability onset date and continues for the next five consecutive full months. For example, if an individual's disability onset date is determined to be July 15th, the waiting period would begin August 1st and go until December 31st. Once the five-month waiting period is over, the individual then becomes eligible to receive SSDI benefit payments starting in that sixth full month. If the application and approval process for SSDI benefits takes longer than that five-month waiting period, beneficiaries may receive retroactive payments after the waiting period, but before the benefits were approved by Social Security. Therefore, it's important to apply for SSDI benefits as soon as possible after becoming disabled to ensure timely access to benefits. Remember, the SSDI waiting period is separate from the application processing time, and it's essential that you apply for benefits promptly if you believe you are eligible. If you have specific questions about SSDI or need assistance with the application or appeals process, consider contacting the Social Security Administration directly or a qualified attorney. Thanks so much for watching. If you're disabled and unable to work, click the scheduling link below or give us a call directly for a free consultation where we discuss your case and see what I can do to help you.